Greetings fellow Corsairs, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle. Episode 5, Domiciles for Dominators. And a transport pod crash for LeBlanc. Oh, it's a goblin. It is one that can only ever become a slave in our own rules. So they're masochistic, great memory, psychopath, abrasive, annoying voice. Uh, they also came with a Rivendell elf bow. I don't know how, um, but I will accept it because <laughs> that's kind of nice. So I'm going to have you guys decide. We're going to put the bedrooms at three. So that would be uh, here. Do we enslave the goblin? Yes or no? What do they believe in? Oh, at least they believe in Shadows of the East. Good, good, good. What are the only requirements? Well, that first Cobra learned that being a transgressing moron is a bad idea. Yeah, y'all just getting slain. I don't even know why this isn't going on cooldown. Again, uh, I said right at the start of this uh, stream, there be bugs. And there is no attempt to try to balance this, as RimWorld of Magic and Lord of the Rings mods both are, like, laughably imbalanced. Uh, my point being, you're going to see some, like, ridiculousness, and I it, call it intentional, because there's really no other way to explain it. So it looks like we are going to, um, we're going to get, oh, that's a nasty firestorm. Uh, we're going to get, uh, the goblin. We're going to enslave him. In a second. Stuff's kind of, uh, lit. All right, shield. You go get them. I don't think... Yeah, they're not bleeding that quick. And then Crimson. I think you're very much going to want that bow. So, go grab it. That bow is going to be god tier. If you're wondering, this thing has a range of 46 and a damage of 20. And it shoots quickly. And it's super accurate. It, it it's just stupid strong. Again, the whole things things aren't balanced. Let's call it intentional. Uh, why are we healing you with like medicine? Yeah, I don't care about that. So you, my little friend, are getting enslaved. Congratulations. That also means that I am going to want slave clothing. So. We'll make a slave body strap. And... Slave collar. Out of iron. And leather. Which I don't really have a lot of leather. Oh, I think it's iron or leather. So we'll make it out of iron. And the body strap out of... Cloth. And then maybe a loincloth. I don't know. I'll figure that out. So, Tal, it seems to me like you haven't done any research. Are you just protesting? Like, what is going on with you? Can you can you go do it, please? What's my ideology? Uh, Shadows of the East. Very simple loyalist collectivist. And, and terribly bigoted towards those that do not believe in our ideology. More or less, if you don't believe in what we believe in, we, we kill you. Which seems, I think, quite fitting given the, uh, given the scenario. So the southern wall is done. 
Uh, I'm going to keep that door closed. I'll leave this one open. So there's only one way in, which is going to be this door. And then that northern door is almost done. As soon as uh, that is done, we'll get shield to start working on the bedrooms. And now it's a race of who gets recruited first. The elf who's going to become a member or the goblin who's going to become a slave. Uh, definitely the, the goblin's going to be first. A solar flare. What on earth is that? I don't know. So the heat wave... Oh, someone named Shouda. Uh, prisoner held by Gondor. Steals a radio. Um, let's call it a Palantir or something. I don't know. And uh, needs help. They're not close. So, yeah. Also, what are you? Looks like they're a human. From the three pixels that I can see. Also, they're a priest. So, yeah, I'm not helping you, priest. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's like one of the only rules we have. No, no priests. Unless you want to become priest sandwich. And I'm not interested in priest sandwich. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need, I just realized, is, um, is, uh, slave quarters. So, I don't, I'm not investing a lot of work into slave quarters. Just like a wicker bed, sticking the dude on a wicker bed once he becomes enslaved. The lost seeing stones are not all accounted for? Yeah, so yeah, maybe they stole one of those. Best I can do. Alright, the walls are done. Correct. Yes. So we're gonna go for bedrooms. Uh, I would like to build the bedrooms around the steam geyser so that if I want to heat the bedrooms um, in the winter with steam, it is possible. So to that end, I'm going to enclose the steam geyser with like um, with like a door. And then I think once we have smithing, uh, we get vents somewhere in here. There's vents somewhere in the, the maybe it's complex furniture. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, complex furniture gives us vents. So, uh, I guess instead what I'll do is I'll just have that as part of the plan where the bedrooms will share a wall with the, the geyser. So we'll do four by fours. and have two of the bedrooms share walls with the geysers. And then maybe a hallway that is enclosed. So for now, this is going to be looking a little weird. Like that. So it's like a bedroom complex. And then the other question is, should... Um, not founders be hosted in a barracks. Uh, there's another error I made here, which is that uh, goblins don't like nice things. So goblin bedrooms are very easy to make. The hole in the wall. So this question is like, if Tal, Crimson, and Shield, should they have their own bedrooms? Um, yes, they're going to get their own bedrooms, but will future members... Uh, have their own bedrooms, too. You know, I phrase that in a really weird way. Should future members share a barracks? 
apart from possibly the lich that we recruit, um, they would be the exception. So, phrase a little bit more sensibly so that you can have any idea what I'm talking about. And the uh, response to this question is going to affect the design of the bedrooms. So I'm going to wait until that is um, concluded. But at least two of the bedrooms can be made now. Gambesons are almost done. This is what's been holding up Tal. Is being like mana weakened and then being responsible for other Gambesons and the like. Seems to me like you guys think no, they should be given full rights barracks wise, but you have a little bit more time to vote on that. We could put goblins in a barracks. Yeah, well, I think Crimson being one of the founding members is gonna get his own bedroom, but it's gonna be crummy on purpose. Uh, and LeBlanc just got enslaved. So the first raffle of the series. Subscribers in the chat that are active in the next five minutes, eligible to win a character. So let's see, LeBlanc, You are gonna be miner, constructor, and crafter. Or whatever your name is gonna be, it's gonna change. Uh, I need some sleep. Also, uh, you are going to be required... No, take that clothing off. That's not yours. Assign. New outfit. Slave. Slave collar. Slave body strap. And then maybe possibly other things as well. I'm not really sure. We'll have to figure it out. Possibly like a bit of cloth, loin cloth or something like that. As far as food, I don't really care. Have the meat, whatever. Also, right now, I'm going to say don't mind, don't construct. I think your fail chance, given your injuries, is pretty high. Just craft. Cerise, thanks for gifting out a sub. So maybe we'll put them in tribal wear. That's probably a good bang for our buck for covering themselves and staying temperate. Geomancer hopefully will join soon. And you guys want them to uh, to have their own bedrooms.
Back to work, Tal. A lot more work to do. Here's the slave collar, and that will keep whatever this slave's name is going to be in line. And then travel wear. Uh, this, of course, does not have a door. There we go. And the elf is going to join real soon, I think. So, suppression will not fall anymore. Uh, may require some beatings, but uh, what should be helpful in, in getting some grunt work done. Also might want another stone cutter, uh, just because we have more manual labor now. And some of the bedrooms are already getting ready, so Tal, you're going to take the first one. Oh, they're dirty. Well, that could be fixed. Also, I suspect the walls, yeah, the walls out here were never made home zoned. Congratulations, Sylvan. A very elvish name for a goblin slave. Hope you don't mind. Also, it's worth noting, uh, I'm turning on the character details redemption, so if you have a character and you want to rename them, feel free. So if I'm not mistaken, Crimson is going to prefer bedroom to be awful. So I'm going to have Crimson in this awful bedroom. And then Shield and um, the Elf to be will have the others. Do I want it in the cleaning zone? Probably not. You're probably right about that. If it gets filthy, it well, it can't really get filthy on dirt, so I guess it's kind of moot. But if he ever is bleeding or anything like that, like leave the blood. The blood's helpful. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of slave suppression. Holy hell, what did you say? If you rebel, we're gonna peck out your eyes or something like. That was very effective. I, some of that is just, just the jewelry Tal is wearing. Makes it very effective. But what? Wow, I'm surprised. Whatever we said, it worked. Alright, copy the bills over. So we need more granite for the flooring. It also looks like we're low on granite blocks in general. Luckily, the mountains all, all around here are like made of granite. But I think all of the granite that exists on this map tile, oh, a ward, uh, has been hauled for the most part. There might be a few errant chunks that I missed. But luckily we have a slave, Sildin, to do some of that for us. Do some stone mining. And that will also give us magicite, which is uh, useful. Sad wander. Well, that's the first time. Wreck unfulfilled. But a vile bedroom. See? Vile bedroom's nice. It's funny, vile bedroom, but high expectations. 
Very confused, Crimson is. Uh, one thing that would help is if... And the problem is it's a little bit too warm and the, the animals haven't been recovered from the heat wave. Would be to have, like, nicer meals. But we're, we're kind of at a loss there. Um, I could uh, pivot... Well, actually, I can make Psychite Tea. So I'll make Psychite Tea until I have, like, 50. Uh... I'll keep Tal pretty busy, though. But make some Psychite Tea for mood. Because now we're getting mental breaks, so I might as well do that. Alright, Shield, you get... Actually, I'm going to have you get the nicer bedroom that borders the Steam Geyser. The other thing is, like, the Steam Geyser just actually might... It depends on how cold it is, but it might pump out too much heat. I might not even be able to really use it. So, here we go. We have the Geomancer joining us, finally. They're a full-fledged member, and, um... And right initially, I'm probably going to want them to... Start with Earth Sprites. So that we can start expanding our ability to transform the terrain so that it becomes more productive. So I'm going to paint an Earth Sprite zone there on that stony soil. And we'll start modifying the stony soil and making it more fertile. Actually gonna have to change your type well okay so this is an issue with the mod nicknaming them is not really possible because elves don't have a first or last name and rimworld's like well you can't name them i wonder if i can name them in dev menu probably not is there a name here we need like a uh can need like a mod just to name our elves. <laughs> this is pretty dumb. Because yeah, as you can see, I I can't really. Read them. I can I can do it editing the save game file, but it'll be annoying to have to like save and reload every time I add it. Well, I don't add new elves very often, so maybe it's not so much a problem as I thought it would be. Uh, but we are getting some extra bedrooms. And then I need to set up work priorities for them. So magic is fine. Construct is good. Mine is fine. I mean, you are a geomancer. I'll also have you research and you'll be the resident artist too. Why is my geyser in the teeny room? Um, to capture heat. And good luck in the raffle, by the way. So this was all temporary buildings. I'm just going to get rid of it. Now that it has served its purpose. And uh, what to build next? We have bedrooms. So we have storage, defenses, improved defenses. That would be like this tunnel system. Dining or recreation, workshop or other. Have you guys decide. Wargus hunting minion two for food. Now, minion two is not fine. Eat minion two. That's. I'll just make another one. In fact, will this despawn when I summon a new one? Oh, it already died. Okay. That'd be really funny. It's like, eat my minion? Yeah, what minion? Already deleted.
I suppose, given that the minions are doing the cleaning and all, everything within the walls now, whoops. As you may be able to tell, I have a hard time painting between the lines. Everything within the walls will be home zoned. And then if I ever need to go into base lockdown, I'll create a stay behind the walls zone specifically for that. And then as soon as uh, Crimson is no longer angry about recreation fulfillment, they can head out and kill that ward for us. Work. Oh, no, that was not. The uh, workshop was going to win anyway, but that was the, um, the raffle timer. Geomancer, what is your name? Thomas Ross. All right, one second here. Uh, well, actually, Thomas, if you want to be named something else, use Channel Point Redemption. I'm not going to give you a special name just yet, just because of how annoying it is to have to do that. You said I messed up somewhere with the zoning? Uh... Walls to the east. Yes. In the deep water, I think is what you meant. What classes are allowed? I didn't really go over that. Uh, but one can assume, as a very quick TLDR, the classes that are um, futuristic are removed from Rimworld of Magic. That would be the shortcut answer. Current name is good? Okay. Melu Chiodnar. Or <laughs> whatever. Lord, that's... But here's the sprites working. So the sprites are turning the stony soil into regular soil, and then regular soil into rich soil. Not that I'm using all of the terrain, but eventually I, I can expand to use it all. And you guys wanted a workshop. So, assuming that there's going to be some sort of dining room here, and then assuming that, like, more of the area is going to have an ideological temple, uh, workshop maybe makes sense sort of in this area. Because there's a lot of space for workshop and, and uh, storage. So to that end, let's start on a workshop of lovely evil. And... Yeah, we're going to want more granite for that. So I'm also out of granite. Uh, blocks. Kind of entirely. So um, slave. Mr. Solden the slave. Let's have you start mining granite. Because I don't think I want limestone as a flooring material. Oh, our, like our Geomancer is doing it too. God, everyone's doing it. All right, shield. Let's have you start laying out the walls. So I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm just going to have a separate structure entirely. So if we have a workshop here, uh, that gives ample room for storage adjacent. And then the geyser can be used as heating in the winter if it gets cold. Whenever it's convenient, I could change it to Thomas. Sure. Now let me do that now. I think I, I think I could do it pretty quick. You guys, get, you're free to time me. 
So Melu. I'm used to doing a lot of uh, save game editing. I'm already done. There's probably a, like a character editor, but oh, it didn't even work. That's just embarrassing. Oh yeah, I see what I did wrong. Went too quickly. <laughs> I edited a, a story, not a uh, not the pawn itself. Captured. Where's the actual pawn data? Yeah, this is the actual pawn data. Thomas the Elf Lord. Sounds kind of strange. No, it's not tongue twistering. And I suppose we can start moving things like the spinning wheel, the stone cutters. So stone cutters make most sense. Let's say, hmm, let's put the stone cutters off to the east section, wall section here. Well, once there's space and then have them shear a door to a stone stockpile that has higher priority, so it's very easy to stone cut. I'm trying to streamline everything for the future. Right, leave the tree cutting, oh my god, leave the tree cutting to the actual person that can do it so that I don't go crazy. Presser's done, let's go back to smithing. And then get a presser and see if this was the thing that we needed. I'm not certain it was, but whatever. We'll mess about till we find it. Also, want to start placing um, work specific stockpiles as well. So, if we wanted to make uh, stone cutting easier, we'll do. What do we really. We really only have, I would say, the desire for slate and the desire for granite. as I don't think I'm going to be cutting limestone. So there's the slate and granite zones. And to complete the walls, we need more slate. So then these old zones here, I'm just going to get rid of. They're, they're kind of obsolete now. Put the slate where it belongs. At least it's like within our walls and going to be easier to obtain. That's kind of the point. And then any granite that we get from Sildan's mining efforts, training him to be a good mining slave, uh, can be moved into position. Uh, the trestle can come in here as well. And the workshop. Workbench. And the tailor. So, bedrooms are mediocre. It's fine. Uh, food is real low. I can always make simple meals out of um, vegetables. 
we really don't have a lot of stuff to hunt. I'll have Crimson spend some time attempting to hunt things. But I'm gonna, um, we're about to get a huge harvest of Limbus. Uh, the question is, should I research Lembus uh, baking next? So I can use these to make like just simple meals, or alternatively, I can research Waybread of the Elves to be able to make Elvish bread. And Elvish bread has some uh, bonus potential to it that simple meals don't, making us uh, well fed. I'll put it that way. And then Sildan, maybe what I'll do is have you craft blocks and then mine when there's nothing left to craft. So smithing just got researched, and you guys do like the idea of way bread. So I'll work towards that too. All right. To make sure that we don't starve, are we? Is Crimson just, like, murdering things and then not actually putting them in the butchery? Like, where is all the corpses that I said to hunt go? I think we're just, like, shooting at them and then leaving. Well, there's Hyena. Maybe we'll go after Hyena. They're a little bit more meat-dense than, like, squirrels and rats. I could even go after the Warg. I ain't scared of the Warg. In fact, let's... I'm gonna manually hunt the Warg right now. It ate my minion, so it's on my naughty list. Very dead. I also mentioned that I wanted um, shelves for specific craft goods, so barrel of textiles. We'll go around the tailoring. And then as we add smithies and the like, uh, we can put the other stuff in here as well. Might need to be enlarged. We'll see. You're used to slaying heretics. So you forgot how to harvest. <laughs> Just kill them and, and let someone else sort it out. I understand. I'll probably want to move the tanning racks at some point closer to the workshop. Oh, you want revenge? Well, how how is a dead thing want revenge? Yeah, good luck with that. Thomas, uh, speaking of which, let's get you a merc elf bow, yeah, just in case. And then the no armor. Does this include boots? Yeah, it does. So some, uh, I guess we don't need the boots. Who's not wearing boots? Shield is... Okay, shield, you should wear the boots for move speed. Alright, I like it. It's a good, good little workshop. Hook it up with some lights. Its ambient temperature is not a penalty at the moment, which is good. And we have enough slate that we're going to start transitioning over to granite. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, 
Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Tolfallen.